Hey everybody, it's Drake here. Now in a recent video that I posted to my backup channel, I took what you could call an organic approach to invasive species in my garden. I'm in my garden right now where the Japanese beetles have been destroying everything. They're completely mauling my fruit trees. Now I hate to spray for them because I don't want to kill all the good critters, so I think this calls for some styropyro style organic gardening. In this video I used an environmentally friendly approach to dealing with a non-native, highly invasive, and highly destructive Japanese beetle. Well, that is, I shot them with a laser gun. Now, this video lasted for less than an hour on YouTube before being taken down, and I even got a strike issued against my channel for this. You'd probably think that I'd blame YouTube's algorithms for striking this video, because I've had a lot of issues with this in the past. But this time, I don't blame YouTube at all. Instead, I blame the highly hypocritical YouTube users that flagged my video for violence. Now, I don't expect YouTube to review a video with multiple complaints on a channel with less than 10,000 subscribers, so I didn't appeal the video in this case. But instead, I'd like to go over the incredibly flawed logic used by these users who were offended by my use of organic gardening. So let's all drop a few IQ points and go over some of the comments that I received on this video during the short time that it was up. Yo, stop burning creatures to death with lasers. Your last video pulled from the other channel was horrific. What else do you kill for fun? And what are your red lines? I hope you're vegan and eat 100% organic, because otherwise you're supporting the killing of an untold number of critters. Now, my red lines are the use of neurotoxic insecticides. Being shot with a laser gun is a much quicker death than being slowly poisoned or suffocated. Now, what do you do about pests in the garden? Do you spray for them and kill every bee, bug, and butterfly that comes in contact with your plants? Or do you just buy your food from the store and let somebody else do the killing for you? Now, even if you use organic pesticides, they'll still kill insects. In fact, it's nearly impossible to raise a crop without killing something in the process. Somebody with a little bit of sense comments, People, what's the difference between what he's doing and using seven dust or beetle traps? At least death by laser is quick and easy. And then of course some idiot comes by and replies, Or just stop killing creatures and go to the store for apples. Now I found this comment especially hilarious, because it just screams of somebody who has no clue what goes into the foods that they eat. Do you have any idea what it takes to grow apples commercially? Apples are one of the dirtiest crops out there, because they're pretty susceptible to pests. So farmers get around this by blasting their crops with insecticides on a regular schedule. Now obviously this doesn't just kill the non-native pest, it, kill, it turns the area into a toxic wasteland, killing bugs by the millions. And even worse, these pests go on to develop resistance to these insecticides, requiring even stronger and stronger chemicals to kill them. Now in this biological arms race, it's the native species that lose. Now this actually brings me on to the next comment. Typical American. Now us Americans aren't typically associated with environmental awareness. So I'm glad I can be active in changing this stereotype. But in case you are wondering, shooting these beetles with a laser gun is literally good for the environment. Japanese beetles are not native to the U.S. and do untold damage to our crops, totaling to about half a billion dollars a year. But the problem runs much deeper than this, because they trash our native plants, can defoliate our trees in a matter of weeks. So every beetle that is killed is a win for our native flora. Any further plans to film yourself frying creatures with lasers? You're a sociopath which means you can switch on and off empathy when it suits you. Here we have an armchair psychologist claiming that I'm a sociopath for killing pests in my garden. I'm sure this person has never swatted a fly, smacked a mosquito, or had a beetle hit their windshield while driving down the road. But to answer the question, yes, I do have further plans in frying invasive species. And not just with lasers too, I have many high-tech methods of removing invasive insects from my yard. And with yellow jacket season right around the corner, I'll be breaking out my laser guns, high voltage power supplies, and thermite in blazing glory. So stay tuned for that. Now that's enough traveling down idiot lane for today. But to all my loyal subscribers out there, I want to apologize on behalf of these hypocrites that prevented you from seeing a hilarious video of some of the most extreme organic gardening that you'd ever witness. To all my self-righteous haters out there, I hope you watch where you step, because God forbid you'd step on an ant. And now to all my viewers, both positive and negative, until the next time, stay safe and happy lazing.